Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the new Geo DPS character, Navia. We all have seen Navia in the game, in the font and story, trailers, story quest, main story quest, side quest, Archon quest. Everywhere we see Navia, she's a detective and a Geo vision holder. She's going to be a 5 star character, a Claymore user, and a proper, proper DPS character. So we're gonna talk about about the weapons the top five four stars weapon for navia that are in the game and you can actually start grinding for them you can actually wish for them and you can level up those weapons because they are already in the game or might be in your inventory so we're gonna talk about in depth about all four stars weapon of navia the stadium till the end guys Hey right, guys, first of all, before talking about the weapons, Navia is fully based on the attack percentage. So higher than your Navia having the attack percentage, higher she's gonna deal the damage on the field. Second thing, Navia is gonna deal maximum damage in the normal attack and the charge attack, yes. And third thing is Navia is related with the different element. If you pick different element in your teams like different elements different regions in your team Navia will gain extra attacks and geo damage after activating the elemental skill or elemental bust all her normal attacks and charge attacks and plunge attack gonna get infused by geo damage so she's gonna deal geo damage in the normal attacks and the charge attacks so now let's talk about the weapons alright guys on number five we have the prototype archaic it's a forgeable weapon in the game. It's the oldest forgeable uh, claymore in the game. You can actually forge this claymore, get this claymore to the R5 easily, free. No need to pay anything, no need to wish, nothing. It's proper F2P weapon. Base attack, this having a 565 base attack and substrack of 27.6% attack percentage. This weapon actually gives a tons of tons of attack percentage. People used to you. you you know in the past we all used to use this weapon on uh, razor and d loop this weapon is actually good on the claymore dps character in the past but uh, no one uses this weapon on though on dps characters because we we're not having a proper attack percentage claymore uh, character in the past the last claymore character we got that was itto and itto is totally based on a defense percentage but we are getting attack percentage claymore character navia so this is going to be very very good with navia also the refinement ability matching with the kit or on hit normal and charge attack have a 50 percent charge to deal an additional 240 percent attack damage to the opponent which small aoe can only occur once every 15 seconds this 240 a person can get higher up to more than 300 when you get this to r5 actually this weapon is literally very good and uh, this weapon has always been very good to previous uh previous you know old claymore characters so i'm pretty sure if you have this weapon and you're not going to you know push yourself for more weapons for navia this weapon is actually going to be pretty good not the best but it's it, it will work so on number five guys we have prototype rk okay guys on number four we have tidal shadow it's the newest claimer in the game and this gives more attack percentage compared to the last we talked prototype archaic this having a base attack of 510 and attack percentage of 40 point 41 point three percent tons of tons of attack and attack is all navia needs the refinement ability is also pretty good after the wielder is healed attack will be increased by 24 percent for eight seconds this can be trigger even when the character is not on the field so guys we all gonna use bandit with navia of course because navia is purely based on the attack percentage and bandit is the only character who gives a tons of tons of tons of attack and heals the character so if you use a bandit with the navia you definitely gonna get healed and you will gonna get 24 percent extra attack from the refinement ability so this weapon title shadow is also very good weapon for navia so if you have this weapon you can use this weapon on navia your navia will perform better with this weapon so on number four guys we have the tidal shadow all right guys on number three we have akumaru akumaru 
this is also a totally purely atta attack based weapon it's similar to what we talked on number four that number four weapon we talked this is very very similar literally very similar but having a different refinement ability this having a 510 base attack 41.3 attack percentage same as we talked before but the refinement ability is kick here for every point of the entire party combined maximum energy capacity the elemental burst of the da elemental burst damage of the character equipping this weapon is increased by 0.12 percent a maximum of 40 in percent increase elemental damage can be achieved this way so you can achieve maximum of 40 percent ele increase elemental burst damage uh, now we are those deal damage in the elemental skills and elemental buds like a ton literally sh she shoots a top uh, a missile kind of thing that we call top in hindi a missile kind of thing and i think definitely that missile gonna deal a tons of amount of damage so if you get this weapon, put it on your Navia, your Navia will get increased damage for your elemental burst up to 40%. That is just insane and you're getting a tons of tons of attack from this weapon as well as so. On number 3, my pick is Akumaru because this weapon is literally very strong and will help Navia to be perform better on the field. Alright okay guys, on number 2 now we have the Battle Pass weapon. The weapon we talked before are the some of them are the f2ps now we talked about talking about the bb weapons because we need crit rate we need crit damage so it's time to talk about the bb weapons on number two we have the serpent spine it's the old bp weapon it's a pretty good weapon like this gives you 500 base attack and 21.6 crit rate navia gets crit damage in her element uh, ascension so in navia's ascension we got crit damage so it is better to give a crit rate weapon i think that's gonna be a better choice so this having 21 7.6 percent crit rate is pretty good uh the refinement ability is also good and matches with any claymore character including navia for every four second a character is on the field they will deal six percent more damage and take three percent more damage this effect has a maximum of five check will not reset if the character leaves the field but will be reduced by one stack when the character takes damage so guys now we are gonna deal uh, damage and now we are gonna uh, you know activate the crystallized reaction so if you activate the crystallized reaction you will get a shield you will get damage will uh, you uh, you can protect yourself sorry you can protect yourself by that little shield so but uh, so that you cannot take a damage so the stacks never gonna reduce so you will gain six percent damage every four seconds and this doesn't have this can stack up to five so that means you can gain up to 30 percent more damage that is insane like you're getting 27.6 percent crit rate you're getting 510 base attack with that you can gain up to 30 percent more damage it's literally insane so on number two guys my pick is serpent spine it's always always been the one of the best four stars claymore in the game and i think this will perform uh, like navia will perform better amazingly better with the serpent spine so on number two guys my pick is serpent spine Okay, right, guys on number one it's again of one more battle pass weapon is the talking stick guys this weapon is just amazing and matching perfectly with the kit of navia in the base attack this getting highest base attack in the game highest four stars claymore base attack in the game that is 565 but a little low crit rate we're getting only 18.4 percent crit rate here i think 18 percent is not that bad it's good but yeah it's low if you compare it with the you know serpent spine we get serpents uh 27 percent with serpent spine but yeah we're getting only 18 percent with the talking stick but the refinement ability is the real deal here attack will be increased by 16 percent for 15 seconds after being affected by pyro this effect can be triggered once every 12 seconds all damage bonus will be increased by 12 percent for 15 seconds after being affected by hydro uh, see guys you gonna use 
one uh, pyro character definitely that's gonna be banned and definitely you're gonna use some other elemental character also and navia pass one of the passive ability also say if you use a different elemental character with navia navia will gain extra attack percentage so definitely you're gonna use a different elemental character with navia and this refinement ability will be triggered 100 percent and your navia will gain attacks percentages and getting 18 percent crit rate so i think talkings is gonna be the best weapon for navia i might be wrong but yeah guys on number one my pick is talking stick uh, there's two more weapons guys in the game that i want to mention and those two weapons are literally very very good uh, first is the shop weapon Uh, first is the shop weapon this weapon is very good you're getting crit damage you're getting 500 and base attack you're getting very good amount of crit damage and the refinement ability is also matches with the kit of navia if you defeat enemy you will get attack increased by 12 percent you can stack this up to max 3. so this weapon is also good black cliff slasher uh shop weapon and one more weapon i want to mention is the this weapon luxurious 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 sea lord it's a event exclusive weapon so if you don't have this weapon you can never get this weapon this is a rare event exclusive weapon came into the game totally f2p this weapon have tons of tons of attack like this weapon gives you a good very good amount of attack like if you have this weapon you can you don't have to go for any other weapon literally this weapon is a god of four stars weapon in terms of giving attack percentage i'll say this weapon is a four star wolf wolf gravestone like wolf gravestone as a five star gives a lots of lots of attack like the highest amount of attack in the game and I think Luxurious Sea Lord gives the highest amount of attack percentage in the 4 star category. And this weapon is no joke. This weapon is literally very good. If you have this weapon, run this weapon on Navia. Navia will do better, like better than any weapon in the game. So guys, these are my list. These are my weapons for Navia. I hope I included all the weapons. I may be, you know, positioned. Uh, some weapons wrong but you have you'll have an idea like these are seven weapons for navia that are amazingly good in the game you can get any of this any of from this like from this list you can get any weapon your navia will perform very good on the field seriously okay guys that's it for the video i hope you like the video if you do hit the like button if you want to see more genshin related videos in the future please guys subscribe share this video with a friend we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care